How to Measure for a Unique Home Design Security Door. This video will show you how to correctly measure an entryway and determine which unique home design security doors will fit. First, inspect your entry. Check for any obstructions above and around the entryway that may prevent the installation or outward swing of your security door, such as light fixtures, doorbells, low overhangs, and hanging plants. There are a number of different types of entryway setups. We will review the most common so you can determine the best mounting method and applicable measuring points for your application. Use the type closest to your entryway, adapting the principles covered here as needed to account for any unique features. There are two types of security door mounting systems, surface mount and recess mount. For a surface mount security door, the door will be mounted on top of the existing trim and will require at least a 1 inch wide mounting surface. For a recessed mount security door, the door will be mounted to the inside corner of the existing trim or jam and will require a minimum of 1 inch mounting surface on either side of that corner. Brick molding, as shown in the diagram, works with both surface mount and recess mount security doors. The rough opening width for this type of application is the distance across the existing entry door from inside edge to inside edge of the brick molding. Stucco molding, as shown in the diagram, requires a surface mount application and typically comes in two configurations. The first type of application is mounted between the stucco pop-outs. The rough opening width for this type is the distance across the existing entryway door from inside edge to inside edge of the door jams. The second type of stucco molding application is mounted to the existing entry door from inside edge to inside edge of the stucco pop-outs. The rough opening width for this type is the distance across the existing stucco pop-out from inside edge to inside edge. The installation may require extra long one-way screws to reach the studs through the stucco pop-outs. A flat trim surface, as shown in the diagram, can accommodate a surface or recess mount security door. In a surface mount application, the rough opening width for this type of application is the distance between the existing flat molding trim from inside edge to inside edge. Since most flat trim is less than 1 inch deep, using a recessed mount security door may require you to move the flat trim over so the inside edge is even with the jam or fill in the existing notch as shown. Finally, if you have slope trim, as shown in the diagram, the slope trim must be replaced with flat trim to properly mount your security door. A surface mount security door is suggested, though a recessed mount security door can be used if the inside edge of the trim is aligned with the entryway jam or if the trim itself is one inch or more deep. After determining whether a surface or recessed mount door will be best for your entryway, carefully measure the rough opening width and height using the following guidelines. To determine the rough opening width, measure the top, middle, and bottom of the door opening. The smallest of the three measurements will be your rough opening width. Record this measurement for your reference. Next, measure for the rough opening height. Measure from the bottom edge of the top mounting surface to the existing threshold of your entry door and record this measurement for your reference. Once you have measured for height and width, refer to the chart shown to determine which models and sizes will fit your opening. If your opening height and width measurements are within the rough opening fit range listed for the size and model in question, that call size will fit your opening when properly installed. If none of the security doors listed will fit, you have a non-standard size opening and will need to order a custom size security door using the rough opening measurements you just recorded. Regardless of which model you have chosen, it's best to check for potential hardware interference issues at this point, as it may impact which hardware you choose for your security door. Standard security door handle height is 39 and a half inches. To check for potential interference with your main entry door handle, measure from the threshold to the center of the handle on the existing entry door. A measurement within 38 and a half to 40 and a half inches may result in interference. This is more likely with recessed mount than surface mount security doors. If you do in fact encounter hardware interference, you may do one or more of the following. Select as low profile hardware set as possible for your security door keeping in mind that the paddle style handles feature a profile less likely to cause interference than knob style handles. Switch your main entry door hardware to a lower profile unit. Build out the trim on your mounting surface to create clearance. Mount your security door with an opposite swing. Install a premium aluminum security screen door with pool code handle height of 54 inches. And that's all there is to measuring your entryway for a unique home design security door.